Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. You may notice that we're back in Fire Emblem Three Houses again. And guess what? Here we are for a second playthrough. So we're gonna do the Black Eagles this time. You may have noticed from the thumbnail or from the title of the uh, episode. But we're just gonna keep going on. You may also notice that the image on this opening screen has changed. Now we've got Sotha sleeping in her chair. I missed you, Sotha. It's gonna be good to have you back for a bit. Um, but yeah, for those of you who are new, who may be joining for the first time, um, I'm gonna be continuing on um, and doing a second playthrough. I've already beaten the game entirely through the Blue Lions playthrough, Dimitri's house. And now I'm gonna be continuing a new game plus on the Black Eagles, uh, Edelgard's house. So, let's get into this. So, right here, this first file is our cleared game data. You notice that it has a little Sothis sprite to the right of the time. Oh my gosh, it was almost exactly 100 hours. Oh man, that's wild. Um, so yeah, let's go. So, New Game Plus. What does this entail? Uh, you can carry your end game data over into New Game Plus. End game saves and New Game Plus saves are indicated by a Sothis mark. In New Game Plus, you retain your renown and hired battalions, as well as your shop and saint statue levels. Cool. You can also use your journal to spend renown to unlock professor levels. Support levels, skill levels, combat arts, and abilities gained from mastering class skills that you have unlocked in your cleared game save. I probably won't be doing much of that, if any, to be honest with you. Uh, use the unit appearance option in your journal to choose your unit's look from options such as their monastery uniforms or war attire. Profile portraits and voices will not change. I might be doing that. There's a couple characters that I prefer one design over the other, and I might be changing them. So, <laughs> Additionally, you may receive items containing crest powers based on the choices you made in your cleared game save. Use your journal to spend renown to unlock any crest items you do not already possess. Once again, probably won't be doing that, because um, I do want the game to remain a challenge. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, don't have any Fire Emblem Amiibo, don't care about that. Would you like to carry over your data from the end of the game to create a New Game Plus file? Yes, I would. We're going to be doing Hard Classic again. And for those of you who are new and don't know what that means, um, you know, obviously Hard is the difficulty, and then you've got Casual and Classic. In Classic, if your characters die, they stay dead. In Casual, at the end of the map, if somebody uh, died in battle, they are, they come back to you, basically. So, that's the difference. Oh, this cutscene is so good. It's so damn good, it's ridiculous. I am perfectly fine watching this again. I still want to know more about this Nemesis guy. And Zeros for that matter. <gasps> There's so much that was like left unsaid by the end of the Blue Lions playthrough. Like I know that these other playthroughs are going to flesh out different areas of this world. And I'm super excited to learn more. Like what's this guy's story? I need to know. I need to know. How did he get that weapon? Why was it then eventually passed down to me? Like, I want to know all this stuff. Um, the Blue Lions playthrough really didn't focus so much on the past. It mostly focused on Dimitri getting his country back and, you know, going after Edelgard, who's trying to basically get rid of the church. So, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you guys start there. Um, you can watch from here, but I may say things or do things or you may see things that will spoil parts of the Blue Lions playthrough. So, just keep that in mind as we go forward. She's pretty bad.
recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! Oh. Die! Die! I want to know you what happened at the Red Canyon, too. that I loved! That we did not learn in the Blue Lions. He's gone now, Mother. Welcome back, Sothis. I missed you. Oh my. What could have brought you here? I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Sorry. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Alright, in Blue Lions, I was a female Byleth. Um, I'm gonna do male Byleth in this one. You know, so I can marry Edelgard, of course, right? Isn't that what that's about? We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll like somebody else. Um, is this form correct? You bet it is. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. I know I'm boring, but I'm going to stick with the standard. It's Byleth. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? One seven. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. What a coincidence. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to... begin. Hmm. And she's gone. Like, I literally hey, just finished my- time to wake up. I just finished my last playthrough, like, an hour or two ago. And I'm already back in the game again. So if that is any indicator to you guys how much I like this game, after a hundred hours, again? I mean, I don't know what is. I was dreaming about a young girl. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. And there they are. a bunch of kids like you wanted this hour. We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. 
bandits here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying hmm. so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. That's right, the Hope village where Ms. Remire. Those of you guys who've watched my other playthrough know about what happened in Remire. I forgot that this town that we started in was the same one. Okay. Here we go, playthrough number two. Man, we're going to even have uh, different classes that we can progress through with Byleth, now that he's male. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue, an inevitable encounter. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. All right, this is all information I already know. If you guys want the tutorial version, go to the Blue Lions playthrough. Um, I do I do talk a lot about the mechanics in that playthrough, so if that's something you want to see, uh, please go there. Okay, our movement is much lower than it used to be, and I've got to remember Ready and that my people are not nearly as strong as they used to be either. So this might be, I feel like I got, the game got fairly easy as we continued on through it because um, our characters got really damn strong. I had a really good team. Durability, just to know about that. I will now prepare. it's going to be your playthrough, so I'm going to give you experience. 73%. Well, how is that? Axe users generally have lower hit chances, especially at the start of the game. How's it going? You you're gonna be my new lord. Aura about you. you say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. You got it. I'll cut through. Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Agreed, Dimitri. This dude was an absolute monster of a fighter at the end of my playthrough. Absolute monster. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Okay. Terrain. We know this. Yes. Good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Okay, where can you get to? Good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move here next to uh, Edelgard. And with that, we'll be able to get our supports up. And then you it's can talk to you guys that yeah. I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Claude, you're gonna have to wait another hundred hours before we, uh, before we help you out. Sorry, man. <laughs> Big miss. It's expected sometimes with an axe user. Um, she will get better. She'll have ways of interacting the lower hit chances. So, don't worry too much about that. This is a fine opportunity. It's the combat arts I taught you. Okay, 
at 73% and sometimes when you use a combat art it will increase the hit percent as well as damage and other things. So. Now you know your limits. Good job, girl. Now what have you got? Curved shot just gives you extra range. Let's see if you can get a kill. You can. With your Tempest Lance, you can straight up kill this guy. Over already. Okay, so right now his range would normally have to be two, but with his combat art curved shot, we get an extra range. That's one of the big ones with bow users. Very useful. how to use items so that we can use our vulneraries. Okay, the range of those guys is pretty far away still. Damn! Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. And Gerald's gonna enter the fight. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Most likely one will go after Dimitri now that I put him there. Hey! You with the blank stare! Out of my way! Uh, you talking to me? You missed, buddy. Try harder next time. <laughs> I saw that coming. Nice! Yes. Okay. 56%. It's to be expected. You're gonna miss some of those. that guy. I must stay focused. Now, Edelgard, we haven't looked at your combat art. With Smash, can you get a kill? 66%. I wonder if you'd have a better chance against this guy. Let's do this. Wrath Strike. Nice. All right, let's see if you can kill this guy. Hold on, what's the condition? Defeat the enemy commander. All right, let's just check it. All right, you're still gonna have one HP. 46% chance of hitting. Yeah, let's use Curved Shot to give that a 96%. Because he's in the forest, he's Sorry, harder to hit. The victory so. is mine. Alright, since you can't kill, I'm actually not going to attack. Because if I do, that's going to put me in killing range. Uh, but how much damage can you do to Violet? 13? He'll be fine. 
So you're gonna wait. Ah, uh, Gerald might jump in here and kill that guy. Leave him be, Gerald. I wanted it. What the? Aren't you Gerald the Blade Breaker? What's a renowned? It's gonna steal my like XP. I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Forgot about that. I should have just gotten the boss. Oh, nice. He missed. All right. We still get to get the kill. Cool. All right. Seventy-three percent with smash. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you where you stand. I don't think so, buddy. She could miss this. Nice. Good level up. Yeah. Got another iron axe from him too. Oh, hey, we recognize that dagger. That's fun. All right. I think we're dead, guys. Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? Uh -oh. It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Shit, we're in trouble. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. All right. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called The Beginning. But who once called me that? Sothis? I was not able to recall my name until just now. That and is just odd. like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? I didn't say anything. Fui, that child just saved your life. And what does that make you? I guess I'm less than a child. <laughs> Correct. You understand. <laughs> you threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? What will happen when time resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Well, that doesn't sound very good. How rude of you to drag me into this. <laughs> now, what to do? How about we turn back the hands of time? Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Oh! 
Hey, over here! Huh? Hey, did you just... Did I just what? What were you gonna say, Gerald? The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students! Eloise! Hey, the thieves are running away! Go after them! This guy. This guy. The students seem to be unharmed. And... Who's this? Uh... Why him? <laughs> I love that reaction. Why him? <laughs> Edelgard's our MVP? That happened in our first playthrough too, actually. My thank you so much. Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Aloise, your old right-hand man. Well, that's <laughs> how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. He's you a lively changed one. changed a bit, Aloise, just <laughs> as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Oh, man, I love Gerald so much. I'd be the exact same way. Like... You get older, and you just get more tired of people that have so much energy like this. <laughs> it's too much to deal with. You haven't changed a bit. These days, I'm it. just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. <laughs> right. He wants to get out of there goodbye, quick. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Well, crap. Garig Mach Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? That is correct. Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? I look nothing like Gerald. <sighs> Who would assume I was his child? Just What's by troubling, looking, Captain. You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Do they? They kind of failed to protect their students. Ah, we had to do it, it seems for your them. presence is required. Get going. Like we haven't seen them fight at all, Sothis. Come on. <laughs> The only thing we've seen is that they're incompetent. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? You bet. Former captain of the Knights of Saros. Yep. Oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Yeah, there's a couple things about him that you could know, but... We won't talk about that right now. The Knights of Saros? You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? The most famous order of knights in all of Fodlan. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garigmach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if strategic. these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking <laughs> ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. 
personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, Quite a caddy bunch. Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? <laughs> In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy <laughs> oh Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. You know. But it seems there's no time the, the for niceties thing, in this right? world. So, capable <laughs> stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? This confused me so hard at the beginning of my first playthrough. I thought I was already picking which house, and it terrified me, because I knew nothing about them. But this isn't the actual choice. But we are going to be going with the Empire, so the Adrestian Empire, Land of Ancient History, which is Edelgard's house. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Yeah, very different. Edelgard. She's a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating me. Dimitri? He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. You're very perceptive. Claude? His eyes... His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... All right, we passed that 100-hour mark. Woo! Woo! All right. Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Relative. This so will things be the aren't first too bad. Time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. P 
peace time. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. Ah, the tombs. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You've been here before? I've never spoken of this to you before, but... Many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea, huh? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? I mean... She already knows he's lying about that at this point. Minor spoilers from the previous one, but yeah, um, there's no way she would believe that. Anyways, my name is a fine Byla. name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. God, that music's so good. There's a lot of music in this game that's really strong. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Forced back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. <laughs> Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? What the hell? Is a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach. By the sound of it. Because that's you a heard normal those thing brats to do. earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. <laughs> so, you must be the new professor. 
I haven't agreed to this how yet. How stern and handsome you are. Uh, oh, I'm no. flustered. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You oh, can handle you're talking to Gerald. Me. Good luck. <laughs> and watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. You got it, Pops. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a crest that an scholar underhanded and insult? professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's so nice forward. to meet you. I'm fine with a very forward woman. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Franc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. He's such a dick to now, her. It seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do not in you this really timeline. No. Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. Yeah, it is pretty I'll wild. Say, I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the Church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. All right. Meeting a lot of new people here. And now we get to go and talk to all of the students.
So I'll probably be doing the same thing I did in the last playthrough. Making sure I talk to everybody during every explore session. If you're new, that'll make more sense to you soon. I'm very thorough in my playthrough in this of my playthroughs in this game. So Leone there, her? She ended up in my main party in the Blue Lions. She was awesome. This is gonna be our new crew. I tried so hard to recruit Casper. I did get Dorothea and Bernie. And here are my people. So good. I love all of them. Literally every single one of them. If I can get as attached to uh, Edelgard's house as much as I got attached to this group, man, it's going to be good. Because I loved every single one of those in the, in the Blue Lions. First task. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, yep. please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? You should speak with every student you can. This might be your only chance to see what they're really like before you become a professor. Reward an Iron Sword and Invulnerary. Let's do it. Okay, we are going to talk to everybody. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? Yeah, you kind of, lives of lose a level of trust, cross. wouldn't you? That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Sedith is pretty untrusting of us, as you can see. Now, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. I don't think there's going to be any items to pick up this time. during this explore. But um, in other times when you're exploring the world, you'll have items that you can pick up. Okay. you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Yes, I would. We're gonna look at all of these. Well, some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Okay. Me? What else? Hubert? Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. He's got a lot of weaknesses. 
Um, his ability, his unique ability, is Officer Duty grants might plus five with gambits. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. <laughs> his house is that of Duke Ayer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... Perhaps too pleased with its own status. <laughs> okay. Ability is confidence. Grants hit and avoidance plus 15 when unit is at full HP. Cool. It's an interesting one. Linhart. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Okay, his ability is Catnap. If unit takes no action except wait, recovers up to 10% of max HP. Looks like he's going to be um, offense or defensive healer. He's the second Faith son reason. of John Burgley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly mm. energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Unique ability, born fighter. Adjacent foes suffer avoidance minus 10 during combat. Cool. So he'll, he'll be able to hit people, which is good for somebody who's going to be a uh, axe wielder. So cool. I wonder if he's going to end up being a tank. Either that, or he's going to be a uh, speed um, fist user, hand-to-hand. -hand. Bernie? She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Bernie's great. I wasn't able to use her too much, because by the time I got her, she just couldn't keep up with the rest of the crew, but I'm excited to be able to use her in this playthrough because Bernie was awesome. Uh, her ability, Persecution Complex, grants attack plus 5 when unit is not at full HP. That's great. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. She does Sword and Reason, and her ability is Songstress. Adjacent allies recover up to 10% of max HP at the start of each turn. And Dorothea, you're great. You're a pretty girl. I freaking hate your hat. I hate her hat. To the west of Fogland is an oh, I'm excited to get her. Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Um, so Hunter's Boon grants crit plus 20 when foe's HP is less than or equal to 50%. Cool. High crit chances, huh? Looks like she's got a lot of options, but she's not good at magic at all, so... Wonder if... Will she end up being my Pegasus Knight? She might be if I work on Spear with her. And let's see, what were your strengths? Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vester. Okay. You may be and Ferdinand. For some reason, his okay. house is that. Okay, cool. Pardon me. Gatekeeper! You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? You yeah. do, Gatekeeper. That, I love I mean, you, dude. To vigilantly guard this entrance <laughs> with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Best character, right there. There he is. Yes. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. 
I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. <laughs> Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? I'm going to skip on this one. We're not going to be joining that house, so we're not going to go over that right now. But these are the people. We'll talk to all of them still. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. It's like this. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. I'm gonna try and recruit Are you, you this playthrough, Marianne. Are you joining the or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay. What do you think? This guy. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. Ouch. My name is Lawrence <laughs> Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Oh, will I now? I've already forgotten. Guessed? The dining hall's that way. If Hi, that's Leone. What you're for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. She's one of my favorites. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. He seems like a Who good guy, too. Who are you too. again? Who are you again? Well, you don't know yet, but I'm going to be a teacher here. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This classroom belongs to the Blue Lion House. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Hey, hey. How's it going, Sylvain? Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Will do, my man. Okay. Day do! Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Good guy, Daydu. All right, for any of you guys that are looking at this from the outside, like Daydu, he's probably going to seem pretty boring if you guys are in a different house. Um, but no, he's awesome, and he's a great character, and you should all love him as much as I do. And these two, oh my gosh, two of the absolute sweetest sweethearts in the entire world. And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, Mercy. Sure do, Mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? That's me. Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend, Annie. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Annie. This little girl right here, absolute monster. She's a mage, and she's basically a tiny little walking nuke. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled, and he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? <laughs> All he oh, thinks about. and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Ingrid's another one of the best girls. All, all the girls in this house are just too good. And then there's, uh, and then, yeah, I also really like Leonie as well, whom I also recruited into my house in the last playthrough. Hey. Okay. Hey! This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard, 
There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. All right, let's talk to some of these guys. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't talk to strangers. Bernie. Bernadetta, this is no oh, stranger. Bernie. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? She immediately I screams. I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family. Legitimate. The Empire's foremost house. Interesting that you Are had you to specify to that. Class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. I wonder if the illegitimate is going to come into the story here at some point. I would guess yes. Hi, Bernie. <laughs> I just had to hear that one more time. <laughs> well, are you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Should I tell her that I'm going to be her teacher? This could get awkward, guys. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. I would like that. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Kaspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. <laughs> Sheesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? <laughs> so, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. I mean, that's the same level of communication that I want to have with most people, so I get it. I also can relate to his text bubble. Need more sleep. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... So we get uh, two pieces you know, of royalty in this I house. I am pleased to have met you. I think I'm going to like you a lot, Petra. You, you, you could uh, end up on my best girl list. Hey. For sure. Hello. How's it going, Dimitri? Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. Thanks, buddy. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Um, of course they did, but I not this time. Okay. I should return to Rhea. Um, let's continue exploring. I don't know if I talked to everybody. Hello. Ah, that's right. Uh, what's this guy's name? Yuritsa, that's right. What do you want? I am Yuritsa. I teach here. Weapon instruction. These are the training grounds. Goodbye. The dude's really weird, okay? I don't know what else to say. You don't have business here. Leave. Okay. Oh, I can't teleport right now. Oh, I can talk to people up there. Okay. Well, maybe I can. Maybe when I get back up there, it'll let me. The doors were closed earlier, so. Yes. That's so. I guess so. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. A lot of good people. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. That's understandable, but actually. it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. 
I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. There they are. A house for students from the Adressian Empire, many are nobility, and most of them use magic. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Yep. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I'm hey, in the Flame. middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. She was an important oh party member in A our last playthrough. A new Officers Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Surprise! Easy, Caspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <laughs> what a welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. <laughs> you guys are a mess. <laughs> I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. I don't mind at all. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. <laughs> That's a bit different from having a gut. It, it you can't really go is. around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, oh thank uh, you, Dorothea. Please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. It's okay, Petra. Professor, it's endearing. I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. You're sure, right, sure. I will. Now let's break the I ice promise. with the training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? <laughs> Not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and... <laughs> Learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? And Linhart's gone. He just went into the corner. I know and we fell all asleep. agree to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. You're a straight laced dude, aren't you, Ferdinand? Has Hubert said a single <laughs> word? Oh, there he goes. Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Yeah, he doesn't take any shit, does he? <sighs> They're not normally this rowdy. I doubt that. <laughs> I do hope you can manage, Professor. Little Violet down there is doing a dance. Now run! Run the other way! Jump! Dance.
There are new places to explore in the monastery. Received a thousand gold from the Church of Saros. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? <laughs> this will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. I don't have a choice, but clearly. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happen to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Sure, do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. No clue what he's on about. Renown has increased as a special perk from your New Game Plus save file. each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Okay. So yeah. Basically, all we get to do is some of the explore stuff. And then next week, we're going to get to do the house rivalry battle. Let's go ahead and save, and then we're going to explore. Okay, new game plus. You can carry your end game data over into new game plus. End game saves and new game plus saves are indicated. Oh, this is all that same information it gave me already, right? Yes. You can spend renown in your journal to unlock things. And unit appearance. That's right. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. Okay, so here's the journal. Unit appearance is now available. You can now change how characters appear in the monastery, in battle, and during events. This will not alter the voice or profile image of that character. With New Game Plus, you can spend renown to unlock skills, abilities, blah blah blah. 
Okay, unit appearance. Okay. There. <laughs> That's all I needed to do. I just needed to get rid of the hat. I'm sorry. I don't like the hat. What can I say? Wow, I have a lot of renown. It gave me a big boost in renown. So apparently I can go and just like... Oh my god, I can just A plus my professor level? That seems broken. I'd be able to do way too much every single day. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. You can unlock supports that you've already done. So like all the ones that I have up to like A and stuff, I could go in and unlock those, it looks like. By spending Renown. Like Bernie and Dorothea, I maxed out. Interesting. Okay. And then skill levels. You can spend renown to increase skill levels. That's that's insane. That's crazy. Okay, interesting. But this is all just new game plus stuff. You can't do this until you've beaten the game already. Class abilities. You'll be able to get the class ability for anything you've already uh, finished and certified. Whoops. And crest items. Interesting. Okay, we got a bunch of quests here. And people to talk to. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Well, Speaking they're of, dumb. it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. I'm gonna go tell them that they're okay. dumb. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. Well, All right, then. Request. There is a dish I would like to make, but I need more of a certain vegetable to do so. I was planning to grow it from seeds in the greenhouse, but if you'd like to help, grow plants in the greenhouse, take day seeds, and ask the greenhouse keeper how to grow and harvest crops. day seed. Oh boy. I heard about the upcoming mock No crop. comment on that. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Although I must say that in my last playthrough, I was a female Byleth, and I did uh, hook her up with Daydu because he's a good dude, and he deserves... Oh, Professor! To have a good day. Have you adjusted to life at the Academy <laughs> yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? No, I'm gonna beat you. Hey there. And I'm gonna beat you good. Okay, I need apparently need to go into my settings again. Um, where's the minimap thing? Minimap rotation.
See, it should have been working right. Um... Yeah, it's not working. The minimap's supposed to rotate with me right now. And I don't know why it's not. Hey. It's gonna bug I'm me. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Hey, Bernie. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. Well, I'm not gonna force you, so. Hey. Right. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rea is quite the beauty too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> <laughs> Professor? I've got a small favor to ask. If I have to eat in that filthy dining hall, I prefer to invite a cute girl to dine with me beforehand. I'll find out her favorite foods so I can order them. She's happy? I'm happy? I haven't missed a move. Pretty great, huh? Try sharing a meal with others in the dining hall. You can even treat someone to their favorite meal. Talk to the dining staff for details. Except. The Great Tree Moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Now I'm feeling sleepy too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's those yawns, man. They get you. Let's see. Cyril! What's up, busy. buddy? Oh, sorry. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. Straight to the point. Hi there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. He's not the brightest, but he's a good kid. Anyway. He's a real good kid. Real earnest. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. You seem well informed on the subject. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Yes, let's do some gardening. Okay. Fused with magic. My thanks. And there's some more seeds. Okay, we need to check up here. Oh, no, can't go to the second story yet. It's not on the map. Not today. Hi, Marianne. You look as tired as I feel all the time. I want to get to know her better. She seems like good people. Unbelievable. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids, well... Suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. Hey, I protect my people good. Hello there, Flame. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call 
tell you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. That's a Come shame. Should the opportunity arise? I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. Seth should the let you. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? There is a ceremony related to Saint Kathleen that requires rare fish. Would you mind helping me obtain some, Professor? You can fish by speaking with the fish keeper at the fishing pond. Sure. having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak... Uh, uh, of <laughs> speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Always, Petra. I'm very understanding of that. I'm busy. Do you want something? Some of my favorite students that I've had personally have been like international exchange students. A lot of good people. Um, I was hoping to spar with you. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. You got it, buddy. I look forward to beating you. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. <laughs> Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Poor guy. Okay, invite someone. To have dinner. Well, I mean, let's just start on Edelgarden, yeah? Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Thank you. Nice. More nice. monthly funds. I knew I could count on you. Okay. Let's go and do the fishing quest. Lane's bait. Nailed it. Got you your fish. You have helped me so much. And I think we just got more bait. So in my last playthrough, I sped through a lot of the fishing stuff. I won't do that at the very beginning of this so that people can see what the fishing is like, but it's pretty simple, but it's also pretty fast and easy to do. And it has some really good benefits because you'll notice that after every fish that I catch, I am going to receive professor level points. So fishing is actually a great way to increase your professor level. You can usually wait for around three different bites. These gold ones are awesome to get. You can sell those fish for money. So the gold ones are good, and they give more professor experience. And yeah, it seems like the professor experience isn't a lot, but honestly, it adds up. It really does add up.
And if you get perfect, you get more experience than if you got anything less than perfect. So, you're rewarded if you do well as well. So, well as well. That's a mouthful. Okay, any items over here? What the? Nice. There's actually a lot of rewards from talking to everybody every single month, as well as going and getting all of the items. All right. Gatekeeper! Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Yeah. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old <laughs> clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Yeah, I've never had to turn back time because of a bad decision. Not ever. Mm-hmm. All right, already collecting some seeds and some more bait. Indeed. Annie. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? <laughs> You're looking for someone? Uh, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? I will. I will let you know if I see a man named Gilbert. Indeed. I mean, who? I don't know who you're As talking part of about. Our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlin. There's a whole story behind that, by the way, that you probably will know nothing about in this playthrough. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Yes. I hear a member of House Fresfeld, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officer's Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. Oh. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Okay. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. Hello. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep so I could spend all my hours there. <laughs> You like reading? In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. I wouldn't mind trying to recruit her in this one. I would like to get to know Lysithia a little bit better. I think I'm going to go for Raphael as well. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. 
changing of the guard. I think Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Yeah. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you oh so very, very personally. Glad to know you got my back, Manuela. There was no subtext there at all. Apparently there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A Excuse couple me? Of square inches would do. Oh my gosh. No, perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device are all I need. A couple square inches. Even one square inch sounds really painful. Alright, we'll check this room over here for an item, and we'll go over to the library. Oh, it's all closed. Run! Run, Byleth! Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Okay. Hey there. I actually didn't do this in the last playthrough. At some point, I am going to have to read all of these books. Like It talks about the histories and stuff, and some of it seems pretty boring, but... Oh, I can't teleport yet. Okay, I guess they it's the start of the game. They want you to learn the area. But come on, it's New Game Plus. I already know this place. No, this is the way I want to go. Whoop. Professor. Okay, let's go over here first. Hey, you're gonna be weird again? I care nothing of friendship. Yeah, he's gonna be weird again. If you have no business here, leave. Leave. Friendship. Ugh. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor skills. training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. He probably wants me to say probably. No, not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. He he likes the tenacity, you know. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, <laughs> so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Now I'm good. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Yeah, probably. Probably not a good idea. Slow and steady wins the race. Let 
me tell you the provenance of our class name. The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. That's not a two-headed eagle. I only see one head. Before I came to the hey, Officer's Mercy. Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. I almost married her. But by the end of the game, I was like, dude, Daydu has been such a bro and such a great character. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the School of Magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Here's the story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus. Lug, the King of Lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. I really should. Right, right. Oh. Hi, Dorothea. I'm glad to see you have your hat off. Hi, Professor. Oh, How are you damn. doing? <laughs> if you're not I knew busy, that would happen. Would you like to it join said me so on in the tooltip. <laughs> up in this dusty old monastery for too long it drives me absolutely crazy this is the golden deer house you're in charge of a different class right this is the house of bad haircuts by the way too bad we won't see more of each other I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Okay. I think that's everybody. We got everybody up there, right? Yeah. I think we're good to go. Check and make sure there's not an item back here. Okay. We use L to proceed. Let's go. We got a fight on our hands. And it's Ferdinand's birthday. Yes. Much appreciated. We'll give him flowers. Increases our supports with him. What can we buy at this point? Iron and steel, huh? We're gonna stick with all of our iron stuff for now. We'll be fine. For a minute. For a hot minute. Okay, rivalry of the houses. Formerly a promising young mercenary, you are now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Yes. My thank you so much. It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? Leave it to me. So confident. This will be interesting. Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? <laughs> oh, burn. So you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should believe in yourself more. I spare no effort when pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. 
Your highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will fight with honor. That said, I will fight to win. I like yes. seeing them all banter and with each other. the same is true of us. Right, Professor? I don't intend to lose. If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. You shouldn't. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard? Professor? Be careful out there. My thank you so much! Thanks so much! Oh man, I'm excited to just get back into I battles, man. This game, so good. Alright, there's not going to be anything to do with inventories at this point. Um, I've got some extra vulnerary on Byleth. And I think Edelgard actually picked up an extra Iron Axe. He's also an axe user, so I could give it to him to give him two different options. May as well. She doesn't need to hold two iron axes. That is true that you're an axe user as well, right? Yeah, you're actually a better lance user. Maybe I should give it to Casper. He's probably going to be the axe user here, huh? Yeah. D, D and axe. So let's do that. Well, he's already got one. So yeah, we'll leave it like that. Okay. That's right. There's only a few that we can bring in for this. Um, five, huh? Do you have healing yet? You have Nosferatu and heal. So I probably do want to bring you. And you are currently holding a bow. Might not be bad to have a bow user. What have you got? Miasma? We've got magic. Oh, I want to take them all, man. I'm not going to take my healer. Um, everybody has a vulnerary right now. So who else do I want to take? We got a bow. Let's take a sword, magic, and spear. And there's our axe lord. Route the enemy. The mock battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? Yes, I will. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Since this is a practice battle, units who are defeated will not be permanently lost. But I don't want to lose anybody. Stay focused. I accidentally lost somebody the first time I played because I wasn't playing super carefully. I will get the victory. As you wish. I will prevail. Okay. Oh no. Wow, it's a lot of damage. Maybe I should have put Edelgard up front. I None just wanted to attack, attack back the half required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <laughs> Poor Ignatz. Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my, 
We'll try our best. So Ash is definitely faster than Burn. Two percent. All right, Nick Knotts is coming in. Okay, that's not a kill. With Wrath Strike, it's not a kill. As expected. Whoops, didn't mean to skip that. Sorry, guys. We must all do our part. HP, defense, and resistance. Okay. I've seen better. I've seen better. Ah! Ugh, so strong. Witness my power. I have to do better next time. It's a long road yet. HP, strength, defense, and resistance. Good level up for her. It's dangerous. Use that vulnerary. Who are you going after? Doesn't show who you're going after. Um, what can you do to him right now? Hmm. He won't be in range of anybody else, right? Okay. Oops, I forgot to uh, add Wrath Strike to that. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Agreed. Um, I'm gonna give the kill to Bernie if I can. So let's wrath strike this. So an important part of this game... The new professor is quite a commander. Yeah, an important part of this game is spreading out the experience so that everybody is gaining levels at a decent pace. It's really, really important. Okay. Daydu is going to be the... Dan uh, I mean, Daydu and Dimitri are probably really dangerous here. Okay. Maybe I'll bait Daydu here, but then he can use the trees as well. But I don't want to... Like, that would be the ideal spot, but that spot will pull these two. Hmm. Alright, let's move forward. Magic will help us with people that are in the trees. Are you really gonna fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. This is a good opportunity for us. Let's forge ahead. Oh, cool. They're gonna come towards us, huh? Okay, so, knowing that, Daydu can get to here, 
And yeah, both of them can still get to there. So in a situation like this, I try to spread the damage, see if there's anybody who can split those red lines between two different people. Okay, what's the damage going to be? 15, huh? Yep, she can take it. I don't like it, but she can take it. You still can't reach, so that's okay. Daydu is basically a tank, so... So I'm super unfamiliar with uh, the strengths and weaknesses of my group so far, so this will be a learning opportunity for us, I think. Um, okay, we don't get a lot of extra damage from Curve Shot, just the extra range. Now, Daydu traditionally has really bad resistance. God, so close. Okay, so no matter what, we need to do two attacks on him. How much damage is Dimitri doing at the moment? 14 on Hubert, huh? If I move there, he's going to change over to Petra. He did good, Daydu. What did I expect? Okay, 13 on Petra, huh? You can't hurt us that bad, so maybe I'll focus down Dimitri. Think this through. You can get up around here. Okay. Fifteen and fifteen. You're a tough opponent, but I refuse to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. Um, let's use Smash just so it gives us a 100% hit chance. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. If you is my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no let's less. Let's go. A long road yet. Okay. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. The rest is up to you. Okay. Now I'm gonna need to get some people healed up. 
Now, she's got good resistance, my girl Mercy here. Okay. 96 with curved shot. I think it's worth it to guarantee the hit. Damn it, I skipped her dialogue too. Okay. Okay, Manuela's magic isn't super strong. Um, I think Hanneman's is much worse. Um, I think we should focus on d uh, Claude first. Oh wow, she starts at level four here? Damn. Okay, these two need level ups. Coming up with brilliant schemes that can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you know that was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. <laughs> I'm not saying. my heart oh, I hate losing I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on okay 10 damage and 8 damage 18 huh you can survive it Let's see, your defense is four. You should be able to take a hit. Oh, does she have a tomahawk or something? A ranged weapon? And X, yeah. I will prevail. Sorry, Petra, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but you're gonna survive. Three, so now can you finish this? Not quite. Now I don't want you to get the kill. Noble. I've mastered this art. Wow, that was quick. HP plus five. Damn it, that's a kill too. All right, Hubert, can you get Manuela then? You can. Good. 
Get that experience, buddy. <sighs> well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. Hardly worth my time. Another vulnerary. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. The rest of your house is gone. I think you failed, buddy. Get a double on her. Ouch! Was that really necessary? <laughs> Should I have held back? My limit is nearby. I will get the victory. Okay, who has high resistance? It's going to be you. Seven. Okay, so it's Hubert and Violet. Eleven damage. Hmm. We gotta see if we can, uh... Yeah, that'll allow... Hubert to get his level up. Just waiting for one of those 1%. Yeah, I'm just wait. Oh, we don't have any more magic. Damn it. I wanted him to get that level. Okay, that means we're gonna give it to you, Petra. My goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is. Well, I was as good as useless. Yeah? I will not be stopped. You were. <laughs> Cool, an intermediate sale. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Black Eagle House. Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Nice. And Bernie's our MVP, no kidding. Yeah, I guess she did probably make, take the most actions. She was like just chip damaging everybody down to <laughs> down to uh, manageable levels. I hope she becomes as good as Ash was, man. Ash was nuts as my archer. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. It was easy. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagles. That was impressive, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back, and you did not disappoint. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. You did great, Bernie. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, 
I'm canceling the festivity so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. <laughs> For half a second, I thought she was serious. I was like, oh my gosh, Edelgard, girl, you have some things to learn about being a leader. <laughs> Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. He is the best. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. No pressure. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. My mission? Didn't realize I was going to have missions. Those affiliated with Garrig Mock Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You Gotta shall murder work to people complete for the, the church. task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. Oh, Seda. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. That look. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? I'll try. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Right. Is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! What did you agree Hiring to? Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Get back here! Uh, damn you! Well then. Alright, that's going to be the end of our uh, first episode in the Edelgard path. So, Black Eagles, here we are. Straight from the Blue Lions into the Black Eagles. I'm loving it. I can't wait to get to know this crew better. Oh, hey, now I see the double-headed eagle. Why isn't the regular crest like that? The one on the walls. Well, anyways, I guess the blue one is different than uh, the lion head, so... Yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. Anyways, um, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that I will see you all next time. Have a good one.